Hey guys, in today's video, we will train your polygonal model skill by creating a chair. Remember, there are playlists with all the products already created, will be in the card above. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a plan to add our reference. The reference link will be in the video description. First, we will create a rectangle following the general shape of the model, and then we will use lines to create the holes inside the chair. The process is very simple, just create the lines according to the reference. Once it is done, we will join all the lines with a touch, including the rectangle. Let's use vertex snapping to getting everything aligned correctly. Now we use the fillets to round the vertices according to the reference. Just click on the vertices and drag it to round its shape. Let's do this on all the vertices. So let's adjust the position at this bottom and then convert it to editable poly to turn the lines into a mesh. Ok, let's add our Pro Optimizer to create these lines inside the model and apply a retopology to fix this mesh. We see that 200 is not enough. So, let's do the calculation with the value of the 500. We convert it to editable poly again and now we are going to optimize this mesh. Since there are parts where we don't need so many lines, just select and remove the excess lines. Now let's adjust this part where we need more vertices to make the curved smoother and also better organize the topology in this part. Once it is done, we will add thickness to the model with the shell. We will add support loops on the face to maintain the shape.
and we will add a modifier to soften the shape. Once this piece is finished, we will adjust its pivots and apply a symmetry to mirror the shape. Now, let's create the center piece of the model. First, we will create this bottom piece using a single line, adjusted its position and thickness according to the image. Let's create this piece that holds the seat of the chair, again using a line. Let's create the shape and then adjust the thickness and size of this piece. Again, with the line, we will create the back part of the chair. To create the seats, we will create a copy of what we have already created to speed up the process. We adjusted its position and size, always following the reference to try to keep it as close as possible. I'm going to close the space with a cap and add a little more thickness to the seats. For the backrest part, we will also create it from a shape we already have. Just hold it shift and we will create a copy. Here I will return into the reference to create the exact size. To create the exact size. Once it is done, we isolate this two piece and join them with a touch. Let's add a chamfer to soften the edges and add a loops inside. Let's do this because this model will be taken to ZBrush, so we can actually create the upholstery in ZBrush. I'm going to do the same with the support parts. We add a chamfer and support loops to the inside of the piece.
with this model base created, we will now export the cluster parts to ZBrush. To do this, we will select the part, go to export selected and export it in OBJ. Here, in ZBrush, for you to import, just create a cylinder, enable edits, and click on Make Polymesh 3D. Now, we go to Import and load your mesh. Once it is done, I will adjust the symmetry for the Z-axis to suit the model. I will work on each piece at once then I will separate them using split hidden. Here in ZBrush the process will be accelerated. Basically, what we show do here is use your observation how often a cluster behaves in your reference and try to reproduce in your model.
Once this step is complete, we will import the new models into 3ds Max. Here, I will isolate the models. I'm going to add a new material to remove this shine. I made the separation in the mesh to make it easy when create the scene cut of our piece. To do this, simple join the piece with the edge options. Select the edge of the model, return it to the vertices mode by holding down Ctrl and apply a weld to weld the vertices. Now in edge modes, we will create an extrude to create the scene crease. Finally, we add the modifier to smoothen the shape. Let's repeat this process on the back of the chair. Here, we will not use op subdivide modifier, as the mesh is already dense. To smooth the shape, we will apply a smooth width of the value 108. This way we smooth the shape correctly. Now let's join the two pieces using attach. I'm going to align with the model on the Y axis. I realized that our share a little wide, so I'm going to reduce the width of the entire model a little. We are going to reduce the distance between this piece. And in the rest of the model, I use the FFZ modifier to adjust the interior width. Once this is done, we can convert everything into editable poly. And that's it, we have our model is finished. I hope you enjoy the content, see you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.